With the help of social media, a New Mexico mom is fighting to find out why her teen son was shot dead. Friends and family of the victim are using the hashtag Justice for Elijah as they search for the truth into what happened to him. News 13's Jamie Seymour spoke with the family desperately seeking answers. Good morning, Jamie. David, good morning. Elijah Chavez was only 16 years old when he was gunned down in Farmington last month. A month later, Justice for Elijah is gaining traction online, and his loved ones want answers. In just hours, I'm assuming he's in the hospital or he's at urgent care. Yvonne Della O's life changed forever. He told me that Elijah passed away. She was in Espanola at the time while her sons and their father were in Farmington. Elijah Chavez's dad got a late night call that he was throwing up and needed to be picked up. When family found the 16 year old in his room the next morning, he was already gone. All these days go by, and it turns out that. Elijah died of a gun wound to his back. His family had no idea he had been shot the night before while riding in a car with other kids. Vomiting was actually a sign he had been bleeding internally. But not a single person that witnessed the shooting called 911. I had asked if they would have called the ambulance or the police, would Elijah still be here? And they said yes. Police arrested suspect Xavier Montano, who is only 15. Della O says her son and Montano were friends. When they told me who it was, I knew this kid because Elijah was helping this kid go down the right path. Now, left with more questions than answers because police have released very few details about the crime, Chavez's loved ones started a social media movement, hashtag Justice for Elijah, asking witnesses to come forward. A lot of people have different opinions on justice, but me personally, I want to know the truth. Della O says she hopes to find out more about what happened to her son, who loved video games, riding his dirt bike, and planned to join the army. He can change his life by doing the right thing. And if he can do that, then <laughs> later on down the road, I, I can try to forgive. Farmington police say the suspect, Xavier Montano, is charged with involuntary manslaughter because he claims he shot Elijah by accident. David, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Jamie. Farmington police say that Montano is still in custody. He is scheduled to be in court later today.